So go ahead. No, nope, that's it. First. And I think that I'm close to being done with it. There's his nose and his angry old man eyebrows. You're an independent woman? I'm an independent woman. What's up guys? It is Tuesday. Today we are 29 weeks. I wanted to document this because I'm kind of sad about it. Um, I got this maternity shirt from Ross. I thought it was way cute. It's got like a little v-neck, says love on it, whatever. I wore it one time. One time and I wore it to an ultrasound and I got goop on it. So I had to wash it and look. All the structural integrity of the shirt is gone. It shrunk, it stretched out. I'm so sad because I only have a couple maternity shirts. And Grant, I got this one from Ross, so it was like $7. But still, still bummed. I was like, okay, half ready today. Like, I'm just wearing leggings and a t-shirt, you know. But it's like a, it's like a decent t-shirt. It's not like my Pixar shirt, which is probably what I'll just wear later. But anyway, that's... That's how today started out, but I've actually been super productive today. I woke up at 9, which is earlier than usual, and I got some blogging done. I edited a vlog, had lunch, went and let the dog out, and I have been sitting here working on a project for the last four hours, and I think that I'm close to being done with it. And we've talked about it on the vlog before, but I'm not going to mention what it is now because I just don't want to. We'll talk about it later, but... Um, yeah, I'm working on that today and I feel really good about it. So hopefully I can get it all wrapped up soon. Maybe in the next 10 minutes, might be another day or two. I don't know, we'll see. We're back to having Mexican food a lot. It's Costa Vida, so I don't know if that really counts, but well, I mean, it's closer than not. Yeah, because right? we had Freebirds last night and I had like a oh, that's chicken quesadilla that. and then Brandon had a burrito. And we're having Costa tonight because I'm starving and it sounds good and Brandon had a day at work. Yay, work day! So we're having Costa Vida. Brandon's got his smothered burrito over there. I have yet to open my salad, but... Do you need help? No, I can do it. Thank you, though. You're an independent woman? I'm an independent woman, but All I do right. need you, so don't leave. Alright. Anyway, Costa Vida for dinner. We're gonna round this, this night off in a good way. Mm-hmm. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Great. Great. I haven't really talked about anything today. Oh. So, I'm going to give you an update now. Welcome to the bump date. Yeah. Week 29. Okay, so 29 weeks. This last week, I have slept a lot better. I feel like my stressful dreams mm -hmm. are starting to decrease. And... I, yeah, I guess that's all <laughs> as far as sleep goes. Food has been the same. Yeah, still no pizza. No pizza, no pizza. Um, I feel like I'm ready for like summer foods though, but that's not so much the pregnancy, that's just because it's nice outside. What consists of summer food? Like just anything on the grill. Like we had asparagus and corn the other night and we had like the brats, but like a cheeseburger, corn on the cob sounds really good still. Anything grilled basically. Just sounds good, but I don't think that's pregnancy related. I think it's just because it's nice because outside. It's summer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, should we talk about my mood for a second? Sure. <laughs> it's been not very good this week. Yeah. It's been. I can care with that. <laughs> like I've been pretty grumpy, and I kind of just cry a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let you tackle this one. This one you're that's, on your own. That's all I have to say about it. So go ahead. No, nope, that's it. I only see it from an, an inside point of view. So like, Brandon messes up a lot, and that's all I know. Yeah, I but. do. <laughs> I just make her cry all the time. That's not true. That's yeah. that's really not true. He really doesn't. He really does not mess up a lot. I've just been so moody, and I just cry. I feel like it's only been when you're like overly tired, though. Or like hungry, or or something. hungry, or yeah. something like. One night you had a pretty rough night, but it was like late and you were tired and you hadn't slept well like the night before and then like you had a rough point and then things got better and you immediately went to sleep. 
<laughs> That's fair. So, <laughs> That's fair. I don't know. I think there's just like when your body gets worn out, like that's <laughs> what you were. I react like I'm two, to. basically. Like I just need to sleep. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's alright though. It's alright. Yeah. According to the bump, baby is the size of an acorn squash. I don't know what that is. I've I never seen either. one of those in real life, but it seems cool. A squash is of size. They're, so they they are of size. Yes. But the ultrasound, they said that he weighed approximately. Two and a half pounds? Two points? No. I thought she said two pounds, nine ounces. Two pounds, nine ounces, or 2.9 pounds, not really sure. Yeah. At the doctor's appointment yesterday, we tried to, well, we got an ultrasound. And we're like, hey, is this the machine that can do a 3D ultrasound? And she was like, no, but that's upstairs. And they're book solid. But let's go try and sneak in. So we went up there and she tried to sneak us in. Well, she snuck us in in between sessions. Um, but Sir Hudson was face backwards the entire time, so we couldn't see anything. And he would not move. Like, she had me roll over from side to side. She was, like, pushing the scanner on my belly to, like, make him move, and he just was not having it. Like, this is the best picture we got of him. Like, his face. And, oh, like, there's his nose and his angry old man eyebrows. He was like, and stop now, pushing on me. But, like, lady. that was it. Most of them were like this one where this is his ear. And that's his like left, look at his like his cheek chubby facing fingers, away, though. and like his eyebrows starting there. But look at those honkers, they're huge. I like this picture though. You can see his ear and then his little cheek. Ear, kind of going to his eye, chubby cheek thing going on. So cute. And then <laughs> our ultrasound tech took this picture, and she's like, I have a picture just like this of my son. And we were like, I don't know what that is. We were quite confused. But I guess right here is little like wrinkles of back fat. <laughs> and I was like, that's not a real thing. I think you're lying. But she's a trained professional. Yeah, so she, she knows what she's talking about. I don't know what I'm talking must. about. So. But yeah, he was being so stubborn. And um, she told us, like, you can come back tomorrow or Wednesday and we can try it again. So we have an NST, a non stress test, tomorrow, Wednesday. And we told her that we'd go back in before the non-stress test and try again for a better 3D ultrasound. So hopefully we get to see his cute little face because she said we're at the perfect time for it. So we'll try and see what happens. Yeah. But the ultrasound went really well besides that. He's measuring right where he should be. Um, he was measuring like 28 weeks, 5 days, and we were 28, 6. So. Yeah, so right right where he should be. Yeah. Everything looked good. Yeah. Heartbeat's looking good. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're still doing your kick counts? Yep, still doing the kick counts. How often do you do that? Twice a day? Um, I usually try and do it once during the day, and then I count right before I go to sleep, because that's when he's the most active. Oh, but gotcha. he's been very, very active all day, and I like pay attention when he's moving and stuff. So, yeah, he's just, just going crazy in there sometimes. Should you show my tummy? Yeah, let's see that thing. I like how I always have to stand up. I'm not standing up today. I'm pregnant. You're going to sit down and do it? Yep. All right. Look at that thing. How's it look? look? Pretty good. How are you feeling about it? It's pretty big. I'm feeling good about it though. It means that he's growing. I don't know if like this is a thing that she just didn't realize or something, but all of a sudden Caitlin's like, I'm pregnant. And she's saying that she's feeling more pregnant, even though like, okay, she has been pregnant and she has been growing this whole time. All of a sudden, I feel like this week, it's finally like set in that like she is pregnant and that she is growing and I don't know if like... It was when we were in San Francisco that I saw like video or a picture of myself and I was just like, holy crap, like when did I get so big and now like I can feel like when, when I get hungry or like if my stomach gurgles, like it's up here, it's not down where it's supposed to be, it's up here and he just, he's like crowding my lungs, he's taking up so much space and people keep saying that I'm small but like compared to how I am when I'm not pregnant, like I'm pretty, like I'm 29 weeks pregnant. I feel like I'm pretty big, but I don't know. I love it. I still wouldn't change it. I was putting lotion on my stomach last night and I was just like, sometimes I'm not pregnant and that's weird. Like rather than just always being pregnant. When she says sometimes, she means very rarely over the last couple of years has yeah. she not been pregnant, but yeah. it, it is a thing that has happened. But now I'm just like, I'll just be pregnant forever. That's fine. Like not with the same baby forever, right. but like, let's just, let's just keep going. Might as well. It doesn't bother me. No. Right. Okay. But it's finally warm enough outside that I can wear dresses. So that's nice. 
That is true. Because bye bye jeans. That's helpful. Don't care about jeans anymore. Just dresses now. What's been your favorite part of this last week? My favorite part of this last week has been the ultrasound yesterday because yeah. we haven't had one for a month. It's kind of been a while, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a month since we last did it. But I'm starting to look forward to like redoing the nursery and everything. I'm still not quite there. Like I, I want to, but I'm not ready for it yet. But I'm looking forward to doing it. She's having more of those, I need to nest, but I don't want to nest yet feelings. Yeah. I don't know how we're combating that but well like Friday night we were just sitting here Brandon napped for a little bit and I kind of looked at baby clothes and then all of a sudden I was just like holy crap we only have like four really soft blankets we need to go get a blanket <laughs> and so he woke up and we had dinner and I was like we need to go to Target and buy a baby blanket and he was like okay so we did which was yeah. really great and I was telling my mom that today and she's like I think you you'd probably be okay with four and I was like you never know you never know and I just felt like we needed another blanket so we got another blanket and so that's nice like little things like that yeah. help but I'm I'm ready for it like like I'm ready to do it for him but I'm not ready to take it away because of Carter yet so just give myself some time but I'm excited about it very good yeah um oh my favorite thing from this week I finished the drawing. It's done. Uh, you're not going to see it yet, so sorry. Don't get excited. Uh, but it is done. I still need to find a frame for it. But it's done, and I'm happy with the way it turned out. That's what good. do you think? Do you like it? I like it. it. I like it. So, and as long as you're happy with it, then I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Obviously, yeah. like I could probably just keep changing and tweaking things, That's but then it would never be done. That's what you did with Carter's. Yeah, and so I, I, I got it the way I liked it, and I just had to call it good, because if not, I would spend the next, like, six years on it so it's good i think yeah i like so, it yeah that's it for me that's it for me that's the end of the bug <laughs> date and uh we'll see you guys next time bye